We have a decent well, that's main old phase. Right oh, Bloodseeker blood sounds ladder. good. Tiny Bloodseeker. Yeah. Totally they do go through the Spectre. Spectre. Okay. Right, so I was debating between those two. Kill the Fury on the bat on the map. Maybe the early to mid game is a bit rough if you get forced off the lanes. A little slow, I feel like, makes a huge difference in terms of trying to get kills. Yeah, for sure. As we see, this is the six minute rune play. This is where I think the game will start getting interesting as we fight for these power runes. Looks for it. Fissure there onto two. It's a regen down bottom, but the lasso already used in the TP rotation. The stomp will not stop that kill. So Makoto draws first blood as they're going to chase down Maposhka here, too, trying to get away, but the body blocks in from the treant. A double for this bat. And boy, did he kind of force into it. He's saving a skill point. He saw that collapse was. Unfortunately, not level 6 yet on Collapse, so he didn't get the Pulverize there, but he's not going to be super happy about it. He's just going to go again as he's level 6. I mean, you don't have an ulti now, uh. but the Fissure's there, and the Pulverize comes out. It's enough for the kill. They have the Thunder God's Wrath to follow. Collapse, making it happen, but will he be punished? Trying to back away. Q, Ollie, they don't have enough damage, and Jab shows up. Collapse is just going to be able to get him out of there. He Quelling Blade uh. the tree from distance and meet with his team there to get that one tiny kill a level three tiny kill right and i guess the difference here like of the echo saber instead of the blade mill does that signal that specters want to get involved more yeah i mean basically they're both pretty good items for getting involved early like we saw the rate i we do get a kill here but yeah. looks like they'll just back out the whole point of the radiance build we saw in the past is really slow talent they have wanted to play a very aggressive type of game with this Nature's Prophet oh, taking down bottom. towers. Are they going to go for him? Oh, wow. Okay, Tree is just going to drop. So they move in, find the kill onto the Tree and Protector, and uh, he's having a game where he's going to hit his timings if Talon don't do something about it. Well, Maposhka, he's going to be found in the jungle here. Wrath of Nature comes out, but all the heals are there. Two points up in it. Will eventually be brought down, but waste some good time, and as you mentioned, it's still farming for the Spectre. I'm a little afraid this may be the wrong read of the game. Okay. Well, we'll see how it does work out. Is Team Spirit going to smoke together and head into Makoto's jungle? Do they find him right at the start? Heavenly jump. The Avalanche, a little bit of distance. Makoto getting away. Do they have enough to kill him? They do. So they bring down one, trying to get out with the rest of their heroes. Per yeah, they are falling behind very slowly. Got to AFK it a little bit, and some scary stuff when you move on in like this with Yadro finding Jab, saving the Avatos. They don't even go in for the full kill. They're just ganking the wave. And as a couple other heroes show up, they're going to leave behind one, and so Mira will die. Bit of a strange move there, um, <laughs> but they end up getting their kill on the way through the jungle here. It feels like these deep wards are going to be a lot of what they try and play around over the next couple of minutes uh, once they get those blinks on Talon. Yeah, I mean, they will get their blinks online, but you're still playing for Spectre Zeus, right? right. So it's going to be about the initiation. And speaking of initiation, they find Makoto here, tries to get down to the low ground. Does look like he's going to be able to get some separation as Maposhka lassoed, pulled back in, and going to be killed, I think, Maposhka. Eventually. Still has a lot of heals. And trying to walk away, the enchant, the walk away, the heal is just about right. <laughs> <laughs> going to drop the echo. Q's had enough. He's like, get the hell out of here. I mean, that is his... Along with uh, not the Echo Saber, had to do that disassemble that you were talking about. Yeah. But they're incredibly strong right now, and they're not really feeling that fussed. It looks like to make well, solid they found moves. Jabs. Thunder Gods immediately haunts away. They found him. Jabs. He's going to get blown up, and they were ganking the Specter at the same time. So dodges one gank, kills another hero. That is so frustrating. I feel like I see that happen so much. It's like was able to shut down some of that Bat Rider early. Yeah. Put on I mean, a good performance up top. Another quick kill. A shadow step in, it's too easy. Yeah, I mean, this is their timing. We talked about it before. Like, once you get the Ags on Spectre, you got the BKB on Primal Beast, you're getting here. Whereas you look at Talon, they're still waiting for some timings here. They do have the Agnums on the Nature's Prophet, but do they have the BKBs ready? And they're going to go again. And they pop it immediately. Makoto pulled back in. Shadow step forward. Dodges away from the ulti. Well played to stay away from 23 Savage. They will lose the Tiny there. Yeah, that was pretty cool, huh? He just, like, shadow stepped in, went right back out, dodges the SFL as Laura will come oh, by and finish the job. Oh, man.
Yeah, and I mean, if Q's not careful, he's also getting punched. He's getting pummeled. They find the Zeus. Can they bring him down? Collapse. Plane intercept. The heavenly jump to get away, but will end up dying. Nonetheless, Collapse with the Pulverize finds Ollie, and that tree is also dead. Four for two, and you can see Maposka away into this one. Um, and, you know, it sort of speaks to the other issues that he needs to be able to, like, find it. Where's the vision that they're going to get as they will just catch and kill Jabs again. Blown up by Laurel. And Q can't come in for the save. They just need to follow Collapse around, see where he's out on the map. And Collapse is doing a great job of staying off the map, making them scared. Right. Well, this is going to be an easy pickup here. Mira a little bit out of position, but it is another one of those instances where it's just a support. So Team Spirit lose a hero. They need to find a kill onto Yadro, though. He, he has not been touched this game. 4 0 4 on Spectre. That might. <laughs> just farming. All right, yeah, I mean, they got a lot of roots. I just realized they're playing with a tree and with an NP with Ags. And a Shadow Step in, finds them, and oh. immediately, how dare you overgrowth me? <laughs> they move in and <laughs> destroy that tree. It does feel like with that Manta now, Spirit can go for the Aegis if they win one fight. Yeah, I mean, with Manta, they'll easily do that. I think the big timing they're waiting for is just going to be uh, maybe just the right oh fight. Oh, my God. Q, no! Q! Oh. oh, it's very sad. It's very, very sad. We talked about the supports. It, you, it was still somewhat scary with that Blink Dagger done on Batrider and the BKB. But they're going into it. Now in a row. He's got a haste on Bat, so this actually could be something really good for them. Will they throw away this advantage that they've been building up? Makoto steps forward, tries to find one. They have the avalanche. He didn't get his BKB off. And he's just dead. Makoto explodes the overgrowth, but there's no follow-up. Oh, that was not the way it was supposed to go. Collapse. He pops his BKB. Q is going to die. And now the haunt comes out. They have to back away. They are in so much trouble. Ollie tries to do what he can, but that's a triple kill for Laurel. And now Jab's just trying to TP out. Does he have enough to get away in time? No! Yadaro takes him down. Four dead and Roche very much in their hands. Yeah, I mean, because he is killable. He does a lot of damage right now, but I'm thinking of heroes. Who can you kill if you lasso them? And it's probably him. And, you know, oh my God. you blink, you miss it. Zero commitment. Just drop some globals on to your supports, and they're dead. That's exciting to go up high ground for a little bit here. There yeah. is a little bit of time, what, two and a half minutes on this Aegis. They're just poking there to, like, making sure someone comes back defending. Well, and they'll show up for this one for sure. Ali trying to get away, does get some separation. Makoto got his BKB off. They're going to bring down that tree. He was 10 gold away from his dagger. Not oh. that I think it might help him, but he does have the Philosopher's Stone, so okay. that is to bring a lot of that at some point. Obviously, Savage is the carry, too, but they're just not quite there yet, and it doesn't get much easier either. I think the Silver Edge will be really big, right? But yeah. they don't want to fight in the Aegis. This could be interesting, but Collapse is nearby, and now they'll haunt. Mira about to go down the Echo Slam. Oh, it got canceled. It's not nearly enough damage. Tried to kill off those illusions, and, well, 23 Savage will pop the ulti. The control's there for a moment. They started to get somewhat low, and the Thunder God's Wrath, not enough to kill him in Fountain. So they do hold out. I mean, you still lose. Your Catapult's the, kind of your best friend in this game, too, because their lineup really does suck at hitting buildings. <laughs> but it doesn't suck at killing heroes, as we see time and time again. Oh They're my just killing God. Talent. And just trying to run away, but Makoto, he's uh -huh. not going to survive. Team Spirit just absolutely bullying Talon here in this game number one. Yeah, getting bored, maybe? I, I, they're kind of a little anxious here of like, how do we do this? Like, we're playing against tree armor. We have no damage. Clap just wants to kill a hero. But it looks like they just gave up. They're going to just hit it with their supports. Ironically, the best building damage they have. And 23 Savage dies in his BKB. Can they bring down Yadaro? They drop everything onto him. Q, he doesn't get anything off. Enchant. Five Tell seconds on Aegis. There. And does start to get burned, but the lasso's there. The avalanche to try and interrupt. Is he going to be able to get out of there? The Aegis, Aegis expires. Gone. They take him down. Mira now also in some trouble. He does have buyback if they want to buy back and get into this fight because everybody else is dying. As Q tries to get away, but the Pulverize is going to be there. They get the kill on the Spectre, but it costs them four. I mean, that is like dream scenario for them, but it's sort of the, the thing that Talon has had to default to at this point. They have to defend high ground, try and get some pullbacks as jabs. The CP's canceled. Spectre back up very soon. They do have Thunder oh. God's Wrath, and 
Well, Jabs off to the side. They see him. As soon as Spectre's up again, there it is. And But NP is going to be left to be killed off. Yes, Illusions clean up the job. Well, 22,000 gold lead. And there are some things to be said for, you know, the as the game gets later and later, it becomes more crazy. You can't rely upon the same types of things that you did before. Um, you know, maybe some positioning matters more, but they're just so far in the lead right now. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Lasso, pullback, X, Zernin wanting to go for it. Do they have the echo? But they cancel the blink dagger. He can't go oh. in. Everybody's gone. Collapse. Have mercy. I mean, I thought none. the Earthshaker was on Talon's side, but that Avalanche from the Tiny catching like four heroes there. No buybacks. They are going to go for the high ground. Collapse wants to catch here on to Jabs, trying to get away. The Hex is there. He'll have the Pulverize afterwards. The full control from the Dino and Shadow Step. Back off cooldown. Goes in for the kill. Clean performance. Okay, Golden, they got a 1k back, probably from an infield. Let's go. Let's go, as they will use that as a time to go smoke out. And Makoto, he's just trying to get some creeps right now. Does a long wraparound. Mira's over there. They find him right away. 23 Savage down so low. Pops the BKB now, a turn. Connecting on Mira. Thunder God's Wrath is out also. They have to back away. 23 Savage still very, very strong. They kill off the Tiny, but now he's kind of stuck in no man's land. And in fact, as Collapse runs forward, finds that bat, Makoto tries to get away. He does get some separation still. That is going to be SF dead. Everybody else is dying, and GG is going to be called.